This is a video recapping lesson 2.3.2, which is about scaling and intervals. And once again, we're always looking for even or equal intervals or spaces on whether it's a number line or a graph where you have an X and a Y axis. So we're just going to be looking at number lines today. So first off, um, when you're doing a um, graph and you're trying to find out the what the missing numbers are. So one of the first things you're going to want to do, and I would stop and I would pause and see if you can kind of recreate this and find the answer yourself first before I do it so that you know that it's in your head versus just on my paper. So the first thing I do is I find the um, amount between the two numbers. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to subtract 18 minus 6. So I have a total of 12 between these. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the number by uh, the number of spaces. So I have 12 and I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. So 12, so 12 divided by 4 gives me 3. So each of these spaces is a total of 3. So 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. 18 plus 3. And you can kind of do this if it helps you. Just kind of add these little pieces in there. So 21 add another 3, 24, and then you would do the same thing going backwards. So if I went from here to here, what would I have added to get to um, 6? So that would be 3. Now we've seen a lot that have been whole numbers, and I think what kind of surprised some people the other day was uh, when we did the test, there was one that just wasn't working for a lot of you. So let's kind of review something similar to that. So once again, I'm going to first, and so I'm looking at my steps here, I'm going to first find the amount between the two. So between these two, 18 minus 8. And once again, stop and pause and see if you can do it yourself first, and then watch the video to see if you've got it. Okay, I'm trusting you that you did it. So 18 minus 8, this is a total of 10 um, between those. So that was my first thing. Find the amount between the two numbers. Then I'm going to find out the number of spaces. One, two, three, four. So I have four spaces. And so I have to find out the value of each space. Okay, so maybe I should put this there. The value of each space. So 10 divided by 4, or once again, I could write it as 10 divided by 4. So it goes in two whole times, bring it down to zero, and I can see that it's not a whole number, so it didn't go in evenly, so I've got some fraction that I've got to deal with, and then four goes into 25 times. So I'm going to be adding each time, I'm going to be going plus 2.5, so I get 8 plus 2 is 10.5, 10.5 plus 2.5 is 13. 13, and if you need to be off to the side doing it, 13 plus 2.5, and don't forget to line up decimals and all that stuff. Okay, so if you need to be adding in your zeros and doing that, you know, do whatever you need to do to kind of help remember how to add decimals if you need that little extra support. And then double checking, 15.5, plus 2.5, okay, gives me the 18.0, and then just keep going with that 20.5, and then going backwards, 8 minus 2.5, once again, I need to have, um, line up my decimals, do any borrowing that you need to, so here's 5.5. So once again, just because it, you know, this might have been a little bit surprising, but you kind of have the basic, it's still the exact same steps, it's just that not all the times are the 
the division is going to be equal. Typically, we will have normal numbers. This is not necessarily a standard number line, so not necessarily the, you know, what you're going to typically see, but you should understand how to break up a, um, a number line into even intervals. Okay, good luck with that.